Hi, it's Priam here from Niche Advice. We're independent mortgage brokers, and in this session, I'm just going to talk about some of the key questions that I get asked. One of the questions is around converting a single dwelling into multiple dwellings. So you own a property, and maybe you've owned it for a number of years as a buy to let, and you're now thinking, right, I can get a lot more money by converting it maybe into three flats. Um, how is that done generally? Well, generally, what it's the, what you have to do is apply for planning permission to change of use. Now, that could be changed you get into a HMO or actually if you're going to change the titles is actually changing the full blown but you need to uh, go for planning when you go for planning as part of the planning process um, the local authorities will write to your existing lender so they will write and say did you know so and so wants to do this to the property the lender often um, will say well actually we didn't know about this and we don't give consent and um, what that means is you basically you don't have the permission to make the change until you move lenders um, and um, what happens is generally a lot of people get bridging finance or a type of development finance or loan and they will do the work and then they will remortgage that property into a normal buy to let whether they if it's on separate titles they can either either do it as separately with different lenders or often if it's up to three or four in a building uh, we've got lenders that will take the whole charge over the whole building there are other quanti- uh, um, other things that they need to be aware of so for example um, <clears throat> are you going to keep it on one title or are you going to separate the leases out if you're separating the leases out are you going to um, give the um, the freehold to a limited company is the limited company going to then release the leases these are really important questions and I suggest you speak to a qualified uh, conveyancer or a solicitor on this because it does impact uh, you going forward um, and obviously speak to us from the funding perspective but how you structure the property um, can have a big difference on how you get funding future funding and you know if you want to sell the property or not if it's if it's all on one title then unlikeliness you have to sell the whole thing if you want to sell on if it's on separate leases and you've separated things out properly then you could potentially sell things on in the future. There are other things to worry about. So, for example, if you own three in a block, some lenders will only lend one of the flats to you because they've got exposure limits. But, you know, we can talk about that later on, but it just gives you some general information about how these things are being done. Uh, And I'll catch you on the next one. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.